and we're back on a Saturday morning. This is Minding Your Business with the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce on News Talk 1380, the Antelope Valley in North LA County's source for your news now. Chris Spiker here, my co-host, Aaron Goldstein, who's our final guest for the day? Our final guest for the day is Stacy Ann Collins from America's United Bank. Stacy! <laughs> you know, part of the service that the Chamber provides is, with this radio show, people's first time ever to be on the radio. Yes, and I'm nervous. And not, well, and that's okay. That's a natural response. And also, shooting video. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you know, we had this radio show, and it was fantastic, but it plays one time on Saturday, and I'm thinking, if you don't get to hear it, because this is going to be memorable, what you and I are doing right now, we should videotape it. And people will, in discovery, find your bank. Or they'll find the Lancaster Chamber, and they'll see us, and we're going to make it real believable. Just normal, <laughs> real people uh, talking about business, having a conversation about business. And that's a good thing. Yes, it is. And this is off your bucket list now, being on the it radio. It is off my bucket list. Oh, my God, I'm super excited. You know, so, yeah, you go to chamber lunches all the time, so you jump into a room full of people you've never met with your stack of business cards from America's United Bank, and you say hello to strangers because you're looking for potential customers and clients. Definitely. But it's completely easier to do that than sit in front of a microphone and talk for five, ten minutes. You're talking to Uncle Chris. That's true. <laughs> I mean, there's no better person to do it with there but you, you. So yeah. that is a little bit of an ease. So how did you get into banking? Oh, gosh. Um, I had graduated school and CSUN. And you I went to college? I went to college. Yes, wow. I did. You have I, a bachelor's? I, I have a bachelor's of science and? in business administration and minor in management. Thank my you. My hat is off to you. Thank you. Thank Where you. Thank hat? you. Where is your hat? <laughs> you don't have one. Did you take statistics? I took it all. Oh, gee. Yeah. Oh, I actually my. took statistics in high school. I was a nice little math girl. You're an overachiever. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> I try. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's an amazing education. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you found the bank, or they found and you. Actually, I found um, a bank at school at a job fair. And I was like, oh, I'm not interested in banking. And the lady goes, we'll promote you quickly. You have a great personality. I'm like, okay, thanks. And that's how I started banking. Wow. Yeah. So you were at a college, but your personality is what drew their attention. Definitely. Exactly. <laughs> and they said, you need to be going to events and saying hello to people. Right. They said, you have a face to go out and go in, out. And I'm like, no, I want to sit in the back office and I can manage, or, manage some people, not out and about. But to them, it was like, no, be the front person, people, the person someone sees. And I'm like, okay, that's the case. I'll do it. So have you actually brought clients into the bank? I brought a few. Yeah, of course. A lot. I'm not going to say a few. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I am at all the chamber events. And it's the purpose of being there, not only to mingle with our community peers, is to also get people to come in and experience what my bank has to offer. And so I have brought a few people from the chamber into the bank, as well as just other community um, customers and such. So people join the chamber for a, a number of reasons. One is to get more business. Right. Sometimes it's just to uh, create a better uh, feeling of community. Definitely. I mean, with me, that was the purpose. Um, when I took the job with America's United Bank was to definitely get into the community. I was driving to Pasadena um, for, for work. And so when the opportunity came up with AU Bank, it was like, hey, I get to meet and greet other business people in the community as well as find out, like, what is the AV all about? Because driving to Pasadena, I went down below for everything, you name it, shopping, whatever it was. And now being able to commune within the community, it allows me to do all my shopping, eating, whatever it is, here. So when you're out, have you had anybody go, hey, Stacy? Oh, yes. I'm, <laughs> I'm never hiding from anyone, actually. Um, I'm always willing to say hello, no matter if it's in Walmart or at the mall. Or when I'm sitting down eating dinner with my family, I'm, I've, I see people everywhere. Family's important. Very. Yeah, that's Love what it's family. all about. Yes. yes. Um, I wanted to ask you about, ooh, a blank. A blank. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I just drew a blank.
blank. I think it had to do with education and how they found you. And uh, you know, what what's next in that branch? Well, you know, we have a mixer coming up next Thursday. Right, right. Um, five to seven. And um, it's just, we, we, were, we start out as a business bank, and we're kind of dipping in a little bit more into the consumers. And so we currently actually have a CD promotion um, going on for one year, two year, and three year CDs, and we're trying to get more people walking into the branch. And so that's where our focus is, is currently, is not just being the business bank, but also being your consumer bank of choice. So. Were you at the, uh, the opening was it last year when the owners came up? I wasn't. It's actually this year, the day after the mixer on the 15th, will be my one-year anniversary. At Congratulations. America. Thank you, thank you. The thank owners you. came up, because yeah, this is a, a smaller branch from the main branch. It is. And that was really amazing, the level of people that own this bank. Oh, yes. Um, it's a few entrepreneurs, local entrepreneurs um, from the local L.A. area just a diverse group of people and it's pretty cool because they have that business sense. They all own their own business and so that's how they came up with the idea of having a business bank. Yeah. So and so. and they, I can tell that they love this area. Oh yes. They they kind of pride on they pride on the fact that they have a bank out in the AV, a branch on AV. Uh, we actually have three other locations, Commerce, Santa Fe Spring and Glendale, but we are the stepchild or the outside child that is just kind of love and warm and it's just a different feel than when you go into the branches down below it's a complete different atmosphere oh yeah when i walk in i get three sets of eyeballs hi chris <laughs> hi chris yeah I, I mean the bank is all about customer service we want to build our customer relationship based on trust and service and so you are not a number when you walk into AU Bank, especially not the one on Lancaster Boulevard. You become a member of our team. And so we've built that relationship with each and every one of our customers. And it's just an amazing. You get your one-on-one -one service, and you get that time, whatever amount of time you need, you get that there. I remembered what I wanted to say. It was just how huh. cool it was to convert your uh, drive all the way into Los Angeles to a local. Yes. That gives you three, four hours more than a day. Tops, tops. It, it's awesome. I mean, just the opportunity to even pick up my kids and drop them off at school. Um, that gave me that back to be able to be a mother, you know, to my children during the week and not just on the weekend. Yeah, and, cool. and just being close all the time. Yes, I love it. Tell us where the bank is on the boulevard. Yeah, the bank is located on Beach and Lancaster Boulevard. And so it's right across the Sheriff's Station. Um, Dagnall, it's the address is 537 Lancaster Boulevard, I think. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Look us up at America's United it's right Bank. right on the corner. But it is literally on the corner of um, Lancaster Boulevard and Beach. And there's parking in the back. A lot of people said parking we don't go back. to the bank or the boulevard because of parking, but there is parking in the back of our branch. Yeah, there is a lot of parking on the boulevard. You, just, you might have to walk, which I think is called exercise. It's called, and we all need at least five minutes, right? Positively. Come on, Definitely. come on, you know. Definitely. You're out I'll, I'll take advantage of it, but I do find parking right in the front if, if it means so, but I take advantage of my five minutes of exercise. That's what I'm concerned about the mixer that's coming up is that the anniversary mixer um, that, are they going to close the boulevard? They need to close the boulevard so that you can have uh, good flow there. I think so. We, I mean, I'm expecting a great turnout and I'm looking forward to see each and every one out there. You know, I've been, I've even taken the time to go up and down the boulevard and kind of invited all the businesses individually. So that way it could be more of a, hey, come and see not just America's United Bank, but see what is going on in the boulevard. A lot of people don't take the time to venture there. Right. Um, it is the day of the farmer's market. And so most, part of the boulevard would be shut down, but th where we are located, there's tons of parking, especially in the back of our building. It was a huge parking lot for the vet clinic uh -huh. that's no longer there. And so it's available to everyone. We have more than 50 available spots. Have you walked down the street to the post office? Um, once a week, at least. What do you, in that mural in there? Historic. Very nice, very nice. Isn't that a neat thing? It is very neat. Yeah. It, it's something to look at. I mean. Where we are located with the with the Western Hotel, and on Fridays they're actually open. It's pretty. Neat. It's like history. It's the historic part of the boulevard versus a little bit up top where it's just shopping and such. Where I feel more historic 
you know, with the library and everything in that area. It's kind of neat. Well, you're one of the original uh, businesses on the boulevard. Yes. I mean, the girls at the branch, Angie is been in banking for 13 years, and she's been in that one branch now for six years. Cheryl has been in that branch for 11 years. So it's like she's found residency. I know Cheryl and, and the team, for the last 10 or 15 years, they all three of the ladies go to every event. I see them at every trade show and every chamber event, and so the bank is always supporting Present. the community. Yeah, I mean, we're big. We're big community, community involve, um, involvement. That's one of the things that we strive for. And as a ladies in the bank, we enjoy going out and about and just mingling. And so even if we're not there for just the bank and you recognize us, it's because we are, you know, involved in the community and it's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, you did a great job on the radio show today. Well, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. And you got to see me <laughs> have that deer in the, the headlights. Uh, Oh, yeah, that was a great. I was like, oh, if you get to do that, then I'm fine. So that's awesome. Well, like I said, it, it's really uh, nice when your friends will come on the radio show yeah. because this is a, a fun thing we do. We do it just for fun, but we need to get the word out we and do. tell the nice stories about the, the businesses that are in our community. And for that, woohoo, I'm official. We call you AV Nice. Yay, thank you. Stacy Collins from America's United Bank on Lancaster Boulevard and Beach. Yes. Please come out and see us for a mixer on April 14th. Thank you. Thank you, Chris.